we back with another video for you before we get started march 9th at six o'clock p.m your favorite coach is hosting the imprint your way to sales marketing and branding webinar i would love if you guys pulled up and learned some knowledgeable information pertaining to marketing and business when it comes to your website because i know a lot of y'all have hair companies and beauty businesses and clothing boutiques and all that good stuff but can't get a sale or don't know how to grow your following but i got you in this webinar you're going to learn all about strategies integrations identity designing content brand taglines brand messages identifying and understanding your target market or your target demographics the four p's of marketing which is your products prices promotion and places establishing authority brand leads to awareness and driving sales you don't want to miss this online class i'll leave it linked in the description box it's being held march 9th so if you want to be a part of this online class at six o'clock p.m make sure you get your tickets now but we're just gonna jump right back into this video because i'm here to tell you guys the tools that i use for my business that you can use to help run your business these are verified apps these are apps that i use for my business in the apps that i've been using the last five years of entrepreneurship and i'm ready to drop the tea on y'all so the first app that I want to talk about is called Asana. Asana is amazing. It's an amazing app that allows you to keep hold of all your project due dates and all that good stuff. So if you're like me and you need something to keep everything organized behind the scenes as far as things to do within your business like photo shoots, edits on your website, getting out orders, things like that. This, an, this is an amazing app that you can use that holds you accountable for the different tasks that you have to do for your business. Asana does have a paid version. I use the free, <laughs> I use the free version because it does what it needs to do and asana understood the assignment so i just wanted to give that to you guys if you guys need to stay a little organized with your business hold yourself accountable create due dates assign different tasks to different people within your team all that good stuff asana is a perfect fit for you so make sure you check it out the next app that helps me run my business as far as getting paid and paying myself is going to be hours tracker now this is an app that is on ios I'm not sure if it's on the Google Play Store, but it's for sure on iOS. It's an app that keeps track of all the hours and minutes and seconds that you put into your business so that you know how much and when to pay yourself. It allows you to track when your start time is, in time to clocking out of your business, and then it also allows you to customize your hours tracker to set when exactly you're supposed to be clocked in for your business and clocked out along with breaks and all that good stuff. So it's a really good way to keep track of how many hours that you are putting into your business so that if you pay yourself off of the owner's draw or the owner's salary, and if you don't know what that is, we'll talk about that in my next video on how to pay yourself. You'll know exactly how much to drop into your personal banking account. And that's why I do love it. It holds me accountable and lets me know how many hours that I am putting into my business for later. The next two apps that I utilize more so in graphic designing or content is going to be Pexel or Nappy.co. And if you guys don't know what these two apps are or websites are, it's basically websites that allow you to use non copywritten pictures. So for those of you who are designing websites and putting things on your Instagram and you're just pulling things off of Google, you're gonna get sued. These two websites and apps are, are non-copyrighted images and photography and also videos that you can utilize on your different platforms on your website if you are in the need of stock images and things of that na nature. Now the cool thing about nappy.co, it's a platform that only uses African American models and photography. And if you're like me and you are pro black, this is a great website that you can use to still be cultural within your website and also your platforms if you need to use different pictures of models and all that good stuff. Both of these websites allow you to use non copyrighted images and you won't get sued. I promise you. Now the next app that I'm going to talk about I'm going to split it into two because you girls like to tussle about these two web builders, but I'm going to put Shopify and also 
Wix. I personally use Wix. That is what my website provider is. And the reason I do use my Wix dashboard because it allows me to keep track of all of my analytics, all the traffic that's coming in and out of my business, where they're going, what page that they're most attracted to and things of that nature. Also how I track orders and ship orders and all that good stuff. So moving on, the next app that I also use very frequently is also going to be ShipStation and USPS. Now I personally use USPS.com a little more than ShipStation but they both pretty much operate under the same thing and they both get the job done. These websites are pretty self-explained. It's pretty much websites that you use to ship off all of your orders and print off your labels and all that good stuff. Now the next app that I'm going to tell you about I use on a daily basis and that's going to be Canva. Canva is an app that I really love as far as creating content for my Instagram page and also my web design graphics on my website. Canva has a desktop version and it also has a mobile app version. I love their desktop version. There's a lot more that you can do on the desktop version than you can do the app that you can download on your phone or on your mobile device. It comes with pre-made templates that you can choose from and then retweak as far as using your brand colors, your brand identity, and your brand voice and all that good stuff. So this is an app that I recommend every business owner to have just because it allows you to be able to create content for your audience and also while being creative in your own creative drive as well. Now the next app that we're going to talk about is Evernote. Evernote is basically a notes app that you can download to like your iPad or your cell phone and be able to write down all of your business notes that you have. If you have an iOS like me, an iPhone, and a lot of different other devices come with like a note section, but whatever notes you're able to put things in categories, all your business files is pretty much in one app. That's super amazing as far as staying organized and planning and planning strategies and all that good stuff. So I definitely recommend you to take a look at Evernote just so that you can keep your business from your personal. The next app we're going to talk about is a fan favorite of mine. It's going to be Instagram. I use Instagram on a daily basis to create brand awareness for me and my business. You guys should be super familiar with Instagram, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But if you don't have an Instagram, you need to get you one. Now the next app that I'm going to talk about is Dubs Auto. And Dubs Auto is an app that you can use to create different contract templates. So in case you don't know how to formulate an actual contract or terms and conditions for your business, this is a really cool app that you can use that pretty much does it all for you. But you just plug in your own personal information in order to customize it to your own brands. This next app is great for those of you who have virtual meetings with each other and it's going to be Zoom. Zoom is an app that I use pretty much on a daily basis to have meetings with different clients, students, or also other brands when I'm doing sponsorships. So if you do not have Zoom, I definitely re recommend you just make an account on there. It's a free account. You don't have to make a paid version, but a free account. Just in the future, if you need to get on a meeting with different brands or also brand ambassadors and things of that nature, I recommend making one so you can pretty much have your account set up so when you need it, it's a button away. Now the last app that I'm going to talk about is more so a booking app that I use and this is the app that I use to book all of my strategy sessions with different clients and students and all that good stuff and it's going to be Calendly and it's basically a booking service. You put your availability in there and it allows others as long as they have the link to go in and book you for different services. It's a free app that you can use. They do have different options as far as tiers, as payment tiers, but the free option works just as good. But yes, that is all I have for you guys. Those were the 11 apps that you guys can use to help run your hair or beauty business. And don't forget March 9th, I will be having an online class. If you want more details on that or want to get your ticket or a slot to attend, make sure you go ahead and click the very first link in the description box. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.